For the first time in more than a decade, students attending public schools in San Francisco will be able to take algebra next year in the eighth grade. And if you live anywhere other than San Francisco, that might not seem like a big deal, but it is. It's been a policy debate and political fight for years, and because it touches on topics like race and class and student achievement, it's also become deeply polarizing and deeply divisive. But the district has changed course, reversed its policy, and I spoke with a student and parent dealing with the fallout of that change, one that could have a ripple effect across middle school, high school, and beyond. For fun, you definitely don't do math at all. But as a subject in school, you probably would have to push through that, right? Carlos Quintanilla has done the math and believes that taking algebra next year as an eighth grader will add to his chances of getting into a good college and perhaps someday help fulfill his dream of becoming a doctor. Maybe medical stuff? I don't know. Being a surgeon seems fun. Tiring, but, you know, fun. For the first time in a decade, the San Francisco Unified School District will offer algebra to eighth grade students like Carlos after reversing its policy of beginning algebra in high school and not sooner. Why are you holding our kids back? The school district's previous policy created a fair amount of division within the school community. Before the March primary, we introduced you to Rex Ridgeway and his granddaughter Josie, who took two math courses, algebra and geometry, in a single year as a freshman to accelerate her education and allow her to take calculus by the time she was a graduating senior. Definitely taking two math courses wasn't probably the way I wanted to do it. The experience turned Rex into an outspoken critic of the district's policy. The bottom line is, it didn't work. I call it a decade of damage. He even campaigned in favor of Prop G, a non-binding ballot measure that allowed San Francisco voters to weigh in on the issue. Prop G passed with overwhelming support from voters, nearly 82%, in favor of the school system offering algebra to eighth graders like Carlos, whose mother Angelica says it would be a welcome addition to the school's curriculum. It's important they learn algebra in an earlier age. For me, it's important. Carlos says his family is likely to opt into the algebra program next year, but he still has some nagging doubts about whether he's ready for the challenge. If I were to really want to enter algebra, I feel like the conversation would go, are you going to study or are you going to be prepared? Which would, of course, be the formula for success. I want to pull back the curtain on our editorial process a little bit before we move on. Our original goal was to talk to a middle school math teacher for this story. It's going to fall on their shoulders to implement this change. Now, I reached out to the district spokesperson more than 10 days ago asking to be connected to a teacher. Now, long story short, it never happened. I can't be sure why exactly, but I do have my suspicions. But my concern as a journalist and as a member of the public is that Talking about algebra should be infinitely easier than teaching it to eighth graders, and the reluctance to do even that raises its own set of questions.